Hey YouTube. I got a unboxing to do. Something I ordered, of course. Uh, I already had it outside. It was <laughs> UPS. I caught him at the bottom of the driveway and we unloaded it down there so he wouldn't have to try to make it up my driveway in his truck. Uh, trying to get my invoice out. Anyway, I said I'm going to upgrade my solar. I already got the midnight solar kid. And you guys just got more experience with uh, solar. You may or may not agree with my choice. Evidently, this is fairly new on the market because there's not much, say inverter, not much information on it. And, uh, so I just kind of went with what I could find, what I could figure out. I hope I can get it out of here. It's big. Do it like this. I want to get my, I ain't had my, ain't my video out here with my stump and the chickens in a little bit, so. I threw some bread out so they'd hang around a minute. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got. I got a Ames Power Global LF Series. If from what I, I'm pretty sure now that I see that, but it's a low frequency uh, pure sign inverter. This one is 6,000 watts, 110. Um, voltage it'll handle a 18,000 volt surge uh, like I said there just ain't much information on it uh, it's big I mean it's big um, the 110 and stuff I mean they actually make this model that has a, where it can be a uh, you can actually uh, MPPT solar charger as well this one don't have that option and it's just your breakers uh, it would start a generator if I had one and needed one like if I was living purely off-grid and had a generator with electric start this would actually start an electric generator if I needed it to um, it is this is where I may get some people don't not liking what I'm doing but I know it's not focusing but it's 48 volts. I'm gonna go 48 volts on my solar system. I just think, I know it's not real popular in America, but I mean, I, I know everybody that follows solar watches just in case videos and stuff. And uh, I actually talked to uh, Bill from Bill and Rose's off-grid cabin. I talked to him on the phone the other day and uh, told him what I was doing. And he, and he told me the shortcomings and they are some, you know, I'm gonna have to work really hard on building up two battery banks that way I got backup you know in case I have a you know one battery could take me out if I only have one bank of sales bank of batteries so there, there's some you know downfalls to it but at the same time I'm gonna get a lot more power out of my batteries at 48 volts um, my next big upgrade would be to get at least two more panels maybe more but at least two to give me a, a good thousand watts of power coming in and uh and that should you know um it'd be a lot of power for me because uh, i don't use that much power anyway um i've seen these took apart and they have copper wound transformer coils in there or whatever you call them i'm not sure if they coils or not that's what it looked like um uh, anyhow like i said it's massive for an inverter, big. <laughs> There's size comparison. <laughs> um, anyway, so I bit the bullet and uh, invested in this. It wasn't cheap by no means. You can check them out on Amazon. This is a 6,000 watt model. Um, so 
I thought it was a pretty good deal. Actually, the 24 volt version was like $500 more than this one. So I thought it was a pretty good deal and uh, it worked out. Had a problem with shipping the first time I ordered it. It had been, it, it, I didn't even mention it, I think, when I did the other, my last video on the Midnight Solar Kid. Uh, it, I guess it got lost or they didn't mail it out. I don't know. It, it, after 10 days, I, which I'd already contacted Amazon before that, uh, I contacted them yesterday again. And after I got off the phone with them, this thing is here today. So they took care of it. I, I can't complain about Amazon service. They uh pretty good about backing up their, uh, you know, products that sold under their name. So anyway, this is my little uh, solar power update and my upgrades. <laughs> I will have to, I won't have this hooked up too soon because I got to get some more cable and stuff before I can actually go to 48 volts on my system before I can even turn this on. So anyway, forcing myself to upgrade. <laughs> See you later, YouTube.